Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, oh, that's Jen and Kanata. And today I'm going to do my menu plan for the week. And hopefully it inspires you to do something different. Just letting you know, we are still doing low spend month. And yes, Friday is Valentine's Day. I did groceries on Saturday. I was supposed to do it on Friday, um, but the weather was still not great for my friends. So we went on Saturday. So um, the menu plan from last week turned around a little bit, but not too much. We still haven't done that sushi. Um, and it's uh, on here again on Sunday uh, for us to try and do either sushi or egg rolls and some Thai chicken soup, which I've been meaning to do um, for a while. Anyways, on top of that, I'm going to be doing uh, Valentine's on a budget um, just because I bought things ahead of time on sale. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So Monday, uh, we had leftover Chinese. So we ordered Chinese on Sunday and uh, we had lots of leftovers because my husband, when he orders food, he orders enough usually for two meals. So we only ate half the food on Sunday and the other half we had uh, on Monday. And then we had the chow mein noodle dish that I had picked up for $2 at the grocery store. So it was, uh, and even after that, there's one portion of that, that noodle dish. Everything else got eaten. Um, uh, Tuesday, uh, we had garlic, shrimp, and fettuccine. Uh, and calamari because my oldest daughter wasn't going to be here. She was studying for uh, an exam uh, yesterday, which was Wednesday. I know it's been late for me to do this <laughs> menu plan, but I'm doing it. And uh, so she was staying at a classmate's house, which lived close to the college. And um, she doesn't like seafood. So we made sure we had seafood. So we had a calamari in the freezer, which was a salt and pepper calamari um, that we got a while ago. And we had frozen shrimp that I had picked up at uh, my grocery haul. And I made fettuccine. I did garlic butter, um, garlic butter, and the herb garlic cream cheese. A little bit of that and a little bit of pesto. And it was fabulous. Again, there's one portion of it left over. Everything always seems has one portion left over. Um, that might be my lunch today. Um, or breakfast. Who knows? <laughs> um... Last night, I was going to make Vietnamese rolls and pho soup, but my husband um, messaged me and he was like, oh, I'm not really in the mood for Vietnamese rolls and that, so we just had the pho soup. I was going to look to try and find spring rolls, but he was not. He just wanted soup. I guess he was in a big soup mood. And again, we have one portion <laughs> of that in the freezer. So I froze that one tonight. We're going to make those Vietnamese rolls because I have the uh, meat marinade. I just have to cook it up, make some rice noodles, lettuce, some herbs, you know, shredded carrots, cucumber, whatever I could throw in there. It's a great way to use any leftovers, vegetables, fresh vegetables that need to be used up. It's nice and healthy and my family likes it. And it's fairly easy to make. So we're going to have that. And then um, we have some frozen dumplings. I'm going to do some of those as well as making a pork chow mein. That's my intention. I might just do two of the three. So I might just make the pork chow mein or I might not make the dumplings um, or I might make all three and still have leftovers because we tend to like to have leftovers as people will eat them um, throughout the week. So, And then tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So... My plan for Valentine's Day, which I should take out this morning, is steak. I'm going to marinate it. I got steak in my meat order that I'll put the link to the video up here that I uh, paid for. Got lots of lots of good cuts of steak. And um, so the steak will probably be less than a pound's worth. So I paid six seventy five dollars a pound. So under $7 for steak. And um, a bag of shrimp. Uh, which was seven nine nine, and we're gonna make double stuffed potatoes because my family loves double stuffed potatoes, and some other vegetables or salads, Caesar salad. We still have lots of lettuce. We've made one salad uh, uh, this week, um, so we still have lots of lettuce to make salad. So either a Caesar salad or a regular um, garden salad, or maybe 
you know, maybe Greek salad, because I'm pretty sure I have feta and black olives that I could do, but we'll have a salad. So token good vegetables. And then Saturday, Saturday morning, my family doesn't do really breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the weekends. They do brunch and supper. So whenever my family, because my family doesn't wake up till about 11. So my family wakes up, I'm going to make breakfast sandwiches. I have those sa uh, sausage patties in the freezer. I have a whole bunch of English muffins, still one package from my grocery haul two weeks ago, plus the batch that I picked up. I, um, I still have some in the freezer. And that, so I have a lot of English muffins. So I have that and, oh, what else? I have eggs. And so I'll have a sausage, egg, muffin. And we have hash browns, the hash brown patties. Um, that I'll make a nice big breakfast. Something but different. And then Saturday night, we have been invited my neighbors for dinner. So I'm making a dessert. And so I will probably, I'll have to still look at my cupboards and figure out what type of dessert I should make something chocolatey or something maybe lemony those are my family's favorites um it also depends on the timing the next couple of days of how much time I have because right now I, I I I'm looking at the schedule and my calendar and it looks like I have time but sometimes that doesn't really happen <laughs> so I'll look and see what I do, what I do have, and what ingredients I do have, so I don't have to necessarily run to the store to get anything else. And then Sunday after church, I have usually leftovers, so that's a great way to use up all the little one of meals this that we have had in this week that I've either thrown in the fridge or thrown in the freezer. I usually put things in the fridge for like maybe one or two days, and then go straight to the freezer. Ninety percent of the stuff that I make, the leftovers can be frozen, or at least part of the leftovers can be frozen. And then for supper, I have here sushi again, whether we're going to have sushi this time or not. Um, sushi, egg rolls with like leftover stuff put into egg rolls, so not necessarily egg roll flavor. Um, and Thai chicken soup. Um, I'll bring you to the cupboard here. Remember... When I first started the low spend month last month in January, and I said, I have these bags of soup that I really um, want to use up. Well, I still haven't used them up. They are still here. And here it is. The Thai chicken and rice soup. So I have chicken. I know I have chicken. And all it calls for this, chicken broth. I have chicken broth. Um, mushrooms, coconut milk. I have that lime juice. So I have all the ingredients. I always have most of these ingredients. Anyways, so I'm going to make that. Not, It's not really uh, difficult, but I'm going to put it out and we'll have that finally Sunday. <laughs> I've been meaning to make it and I just haven't had necessarily the time or the inclination or the want for it. So that is my menu plan for this week. Um, I hope this inspires you of what we're, what uh, maybe you can make your menu plan with. Um, also maybe give you some ideas, ways to stretch the money like and stretch things like these egg rolls. My, I found out my family loves anything wrapped in the egg roll wrapper. So a, a leftover last week that my family was here eh, about, I put an egg roll wrapper and they loved it. They said they were the best egg rolls yet. I'm like, okay, I think I'm just going to buy egg rolls every time I do groceries wrappers and make egg rolls with whatever leftovers I have, throw them in there and pan fry them and give them to my family. Apparently my family likes eating egg rolls. So um, what are some of the family things does your family like? Um, also, same with dumplings. My family loves homemade dumplings. They just take a long time. They're so much cheaper to make um, than buying, but they are labor intensive. They do take a good couple of hours or at least an hour just to make the dumplings. That's not cooking them 
or anything like that. That's just making the, the, the dumpling. Same with the rolls and stuff. It takes a good hour to just make them and then another hour to cook them. I mean, you could have two pans going at the same time um, cooking them, but I find when I do that, I get distracted and um, one pan gets burnt or, or that. So I tend to just do it all in one pan that I can only focus on one thing. And then I put the rolls in the oven to stay warm. So um, that's it. So thanks for watching. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below what type of things does your family like? Which of these uh, things do you think will be a hit or a miss for my family? And uh, that's about it. Bye, friends. See you next time.